Hi, Angela Wolf, fashion designer and online instructor, and we are still sewing our tunic, but today is a pattern hack on the sleeve. There are so many options you could do with one simple top, so maybe you don't want the button anymore. How about a couple other options? Adding a placket at the bottom. This is two pieces of fabric because I wanted the trim on the lace. You don't have to use lace though, it could be any fabric. And I added a piece of elastic in there. I'm gonna show you how to do that. But I also threw this one out, I know it's a knit, but this sleeve could even be bigger with a bell sleeve. So let me show you how to alter this sleeve. So first of all, here's my sleeve pattern. This is where it would normally hem, where you could see that black mark there. And I'm just gonna give you a little help here. I could either, Line up my grain line with the ruler and draw straight down. That's one option because the sleeve is already pretty wide. So that's one option for the hem. It still looks nice, it still looks great. Otherwise, if you wanna go with a bell, you can angle it out a little bit more. Or, my paper doesn't go that far, you can angle out as far as you want to. That's if it's connected to this. So one thing is what I usually do is I will measure how much longer I want the sleeve. So with the black one behind me, this is kind of scrunched up a little bit, a piece of elastic in here, and then I have my beautiful lace cuff, okay? So all I did was I angled it out just a little bit. And once you have it marked on one side, I would just fold the paper in half so it's even on the other. I could either cut it all as one piece of fabric or use this as a seam line and add seam allowances to each one and you have two pieces of fabric. Okay, pretty easy, but if you go to It's So Easy TV, you can get, download the directions if you need some more on that. So here is a sleeve, one piece. I just extended the length, just straight. This is bias tape. You want the bias to be just enough that you can fit the elastic through it. Now, you'd probably think, wait a minute, wouldn't you sew the side seams first? No, not for this one. This makes it really easy, especially if you're using a sheer fabric. I'm gonna cut that a little bit smaller. So let's go to the sewing machine, and I'm just gonna show you what you do here. So I'm leaving plenty of room here for the seam allowance. I'm just using a straight stitch, and stitch along the edge. Stitch length about 3.0 is fine. Stitch to the edge. I don't know if I backstitch at the beginning, but make sure that you backstitch because you don't want this to come off later. I'm just gonna trim this a little shorter so it's not in the seam allowance. Backstitch. And do the same thing down the other side. There are so many ways you can insert elastic into a seam, into a cuff. But what I find is when it's a cuff area where it's real narrow, it's difficult to do just a zigzag stitch and make sure that the elastic is even. So this is just another option. All right, so if this was two pieces of fabric, I would have sewn both of my pieces together and this would be covering up that seam or attach to the seam, whatever you want. The next thing you do is just sew down the seam. This is about a half an inch seam allowance for this pattern, but you would sew whatever you're. So the next thing you would do is press your seam allowance opener to one side, but notice how there's an opening here and an opening here. So I've already attached my elastic. This is a tool that if this was laying flat, this would pull the elastic right through really fast. But since I've already sewed this in the round, I'm just gonna use a safety pin and you just Wiggle this through, making sure that the elastic doesn't twist. And again, this is a great way to cover that seam up, especially if you're using sheer fabric. All right. Getting through to the other side. It's kind of gathering a little bit. That's what I want it to do. There we go. Let's pull this out a little bit. Okay. There we go, we got both sides. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the elastic as tight as it needs to fit on your wrist. How tight is that? All I usually do is I'll stick my hand in the sleeve myself. You don't need a fitting partner for this section. And just pull it as tight as you think would be 
comfortable. Remember, you want it to go on your wrist tightly so then the cuff will hang down a little bit and this top of the sleeve will kind of bell over it. So make it a little tight. And then what I like to do is what I'll, I'll pin it in place, I'll do a basting stitch, try it on again, because you just never know. And also when you're using a thin elastic like this, sometimes you need it tighter than you think because the elastic doesn't hold as well as a thicker elastic. So back to the sewing machine, I'm just gonna pull this out a little ways. Just use, you can use a zigzag stitch or a straight stitch, it doesn't matter. I have the elastic folded over each other. And I'm just gonna go back and forth a couple times. Looks pretty secure. Let's open this up. And there is my cuff. So from the right side, flip this around. It's tight, I can gather the fabric wherever I need it to be. Now this is a really thick fabric. Going back over here to this one, I actually embroidered this on, on chiffon. You could use any fabric, but it's still the same look where the cuff hangs down, this hangs close to your wrist, and you've altered your sleeve. So that's a great pattern hack. Continue to follow along on It's So Easy while we sew this tunic.